Okay, this is a uh, video that I'm making um, as a review of a 2011 Keystone Alpine 3500RE that I had purchased from Holman Motors in Batavia, Ohio. Uh, I actually made the purchase um, in September, uh, did not receive delivery till the 8th of December. One problem I had is you'll notice the right battery in here is crooked. Uh, and that's because it will not fit in the battery holder. The reason there's that, that battery is crooked is because I had Holman install two 6 volt deep cycle batteries um, because that does give you better power uh, in an RV. The problem is, is when they put the second the, the right side battery in, uh, it apparently cracked the case and caused the battery to fail. So I had to shell out a hundred and some dollars to replace the battery. Well, the folks at the battery store and also another RV shop, as well as myself, tried everything we could. We even put dishwashing detergent on it to uh, add some lubrication. Uh, to try and get this battery to set down in there uh, correctly and really what we determined is the frame itself is too small. Up here is the hydraulic system for the slides. You have four buttons up there at the very top of the frame. Um, the third button from the left actually broke off and that, com that controls the um, opposing slide and I had no choice but to glue it back on with epoxy. I really don't know how long that will hold, but these, these buttons are supposed to give you the, the, the ability to independently control um, uh, the slides going in and out. Uh, but with that one button having broken off and had to glue it back on with epoxy. These are the door latches for the bus type <clears throat> um, uh, doors that are in the baggage compartment and whoever installed these door latches actually screwed these screws in at the bottom of the frame there they screwed them in to the point that it just stripped the screws so consequently uh, it did not hold the door shut um, and uh, I had to uh, glue them on uh, Keystone told the dealer that I'm dealing with here in Columbus Ohio that by me gluing those on, it may have voided the warranty. Uh, I don't know, maybe I should have driven with this uh, door opened or taped it shut, but I'm checking with the uh, Department of uh, Highway Safety to find out if they feel that it would have been safe to transport uh, this vehicle with tape holding the door shut. This is the inside of the baggage compartment or cargo compartment. It is quite large. You'll notice that these uh, emergency crank handles, once again, the bracket that holds it to the wall, the screw was put in so tight that it just stripped it. It appears that the people uh, building this may be arguably using power tools and uh, did not have any kind of ratchet setting or did not have the ratchet setting set correctly. Um, but it is a large baggage compartment. These panels, uh, behind these panels is the plumbing and electrical systems. Um, I had to take them off because I had water leaking into the baggage compartment every time I filled it. The problem is almost all of the screws that hold this panel on were screwed into the point that they stripped. So they're really not uh, holding it on very well. I think. Uh, uh, a good bump in the road and they probably would just fall off. But you can see the water standing on the floor here. Um, it continues to have a, uh, a problem with, uh, with the water uh, leaking into this baggage compartment every time I fill the fresh water tank. You'll notice here at the front cap that there's a delamination occurring and I actually had to put some additional putty because we were getting quite a bit of water in there uh, while driving. I used, uh, you know, standard DAP putty, uh, which was the only putty that I had available, um, but it was leaking into, uh, into the lower compartment, um, 
and uh, as you can also see this door where the battery sit uh, what even when you close it <clears throat> it is not closed flush with the trailer uh, so somebody mounted the latches and in my opinion didn't really take the time to make sure that they lined up uh, correctly but again this is just a review here we are on the left side front of the trailer and you can see the delamination uh, much more clearly here because I haven't had an opportunity to putty this but this this area this front cap is delaminating and my concern of course is that the front cap could just completely come off we're getting quite a bit of water inside the unit I went ahead and did put putty on this area that was just completely open and allowing water to um, drain down into uh, the compartment of the front here which is the uh, compartment where the um, uh, generator uh, preparation goes you can see along here how uh, these moldings really are not lined up and in, in my opinion uh, could have been built uh, with a little bit better care uh, where they would have been uh, much better aligned this is the waterworks area and um, what I found is that they use very um, cheap uh, uh, hoses or hose connections these uh, these are the three black and gray tank um, levers that are very very tight and every time you push them in you're all you're always scared that you bend them but these hose connections up here at the top are made of plastic and very very easy to strip which is why I put on um, uh, permanently or I shouldn't say permanently but at least put on uh, some plastic uh, connections that I can then screw hoses in uh, because uh, I didn't want to strip out those uh, connections so just just in my opinion very cheap parts this uh, piece of molding that I'm pointing to here uh, was completely falling off I had uh, the screws were completely stripped out I had no choice but to uh, glue it on I did put putty on the inside of that thing these latches on this side uh, also were screwed in until they stripped and uh, later in this video uh, you will see how I um, uh, have put the uh, or you'll see behind these panels here how Keystone has uh, uh, put their plumbing and wiring and everything's crossing over each other and in my opinion it's somewhat of a, a hazardous type of situation when I bought this I bought uh, four additional uh, this came with 30 pound LP bottles I bought four additional new 40 pound bottles and in my opinion uh, the condition of these bottles do not appear to me uh, to be brand new bottles I've never seen LP bottles uh, that you know these these have only been taken in and out of here I mean this thing's only a few months old and these have only been taken in and out to be filled uh, once or twice and it just appears to me that uh, if these are new bottles are uh, not made by a very good manufacturer and uh, it, it concerns me as to whether or not these in fact really are new bottles uh, the first bottles that were shipped the tops of them were actually bent and they had to ship them back and and I'd be surprised to learn that a manufacturer of new bottles uh, sends them that way this is the uh, hot water heater from the outside the electric switch for the hot water heater is on the outside of the hot water heater which is really probably a pretty good safety uh, feature um, so that you don't accidentally turn the electric hot water heater on inside the coach and while your hot water heater is empty because that would obviously burn the uh, elements out pretty quickly um, but the problem is is uh, when you're outside and you uh, turn this on and you touch this hot water heater you do get a mild electrical shock which tells me that uh, something uh, in this uh, 